up leon thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys we are already at the mid-month point of this month so i hope that your birthday season has been amazing so far i'm actually about to post um a post on my community section so you guys can choose the two bonus readings that you would like for your birthday so i'm gonna put a few options i will do the top two okay so let's see what's going on with you guys but guys leo season has been so good and i feel like it's an energy that everyone feels it has been strong it has been powerful it has been influential um there has been so much growth i've seen so many people starting businesses and just excelling and you know just just letting go of a lot of crazy shit so uh, leo season saved us all so let's see what you guys are going through let's hope that everything turns out well do keep in mind guys that you can find me on instagram high vibrations 44 i do post daily energies every day on my story so you can always check out what's going on in your day um, and the sort of energies that may be around you that day but this will be for sun moon rising and venus signs and do keep in mind that all of the energies that i pick up on it could be transferable so it could be something about you that i'm picking up or maybe it's an energy coming from another person that's around you so always keep that in mind okay all right guys so we have your past present and future All right, so the energy that you guys have here is a three of cups in the reverse. Now, when this energy comes out, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be something bad, like, oh, a third party situation, cheating, anything like that. This could simply be you saying, look, I really have to focus on something, so this is not a time that I can be out partying, wasting my money, wasting time, all of that. Um, it could also be things like, um, Again, just having to be reserved, maybe somebody who's going through a mild depression. Um, in some cases, this could be a third party situation, but it's like there's something here that's being built on, okay, that you may have to just protect yourself from or just be be cautious when it comes to this thing. Uh, maybe you have to reserve money. Okay, maybe you shouldn't spend money on this or you have to be smarter with your money. For some of you, maybe this is something that specifically has to do with work, something money related or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, but there's something here that feels forced. It doesn't feel natural. Okay, and whatever you're dealing with that is making you feel this way or um, where someone is acting this way or feeling this way is just something that just you know there could be someone who's just emotionally unstable here there can just be um you know a strong sense of someone entertaining something that won't necessarily continue to grow or that shouldn't grow so let's get the full story and let's see what's up now the first card that you guys have for the past is the justice card in the reverse so an injustice of some sort it could have been cheating it could have been maybe someone not getting um the outcome that they wanted in a court situation something that didn't seem fair you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in reverse. So for some of you specifically in love, and it could be the Leo doing this, maybe you're working on something and it's, you know, you have someone else on the side. Okay, so maybe you have two lovers, maybe someone you're dealing with had two lovers, but there is something here that's being worked on where someone's not being genuine, someone can't be trusted, and someone gets to the point where they're just fed up, you know, they, they feel like they're not getting what they want out of this. So the next card that you have is the star card, which is a card that talks about wish fulfillment. So why is this here for your past? We have the six of swords. And we have the ten of swords. For some of you, something that you truly desire is either going to cause you to betray somebody or you feel betrayed by this thing that you desire. But there's something heavy here that you feel that you have to move away from. Um, and there's a fallout here because of somebody that wasn't being honest and genuine. Okay? It could be even as simple as you not being honest to yourself. You cheating yourself. You saying, you know, I stayed in this for this long and I shouldn't have. All right? So there's just too much adversity here. You have to let it go. You don't want to deal with it no more. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the high priestess. So it's like at this point, 
there's still some loose ends that need to be tied but you know for a fact that you have to go in this direction that you have to take some sort of loss even if you're still invested in it in, it, in some way shape or form maybe you're just emotionally invested still at that point but it's like people knowing that they have to make the tough decision here okay now in your present moment guys the first card that you have is the six of pentacles so this talks about balance this talks about equal give and take equal effort so let's see what this is about you have the nine of cups in the reverse and the strength card on an emotional level you may be unhappy but you're still strong you're still you you know that even though the path that you're taking may not be the one that you wanted that you're in a place where now you have balance now you know you still have that leo strength within and you can still move forward with this okay seven of cups in the reverse you guys see everything for what it is all the cards are on the table okay pun intended but the next card that you guys have and this is the center um, card to this whole spread. You have the five of wands in the reverse, okay? So every card is gonna tap into this somehow. I see this as a central energy. With the five of wands in the reverse, um, you know, this is someone that does not wanna fight, they don't wanna argue, they don't wanna get into any sort of petty situation. This is avoiding that drama, okay? I always laugh because people always get on my shit for reading reversals and they're like, oh my God, you shouldn't do it. And I'm just like, you guys don't understand tarot because a lot of the reversals are actually very, very positive. So it's like when you have the five of wands in the reverse, it's avoiding bullshit. Or would you want something like the ten of swords in the reverse or would you want it in, or would you want the ten of swords or the ten of swords in the reverse, you know? So this is someone who feels betrayed. This is someone who's hurting. Um, this is somebody who's healing. This is someone who sees and gets past, you know, the situation that they were in. So I just wanted to kind of throw that in there because I've just been getting so much heat for that lately. Um, and my opinion is if, if you want to call yourself, you know, someone who's a very strong reader, learn both. Okay, the two of cups does not mean the same thing as the two of cups in the reverse, but I digress. Let's see why this five of wands is here in the reverse. We have the Empress card. And you have the page of pentacles. So awesome, Leo. So um, for some of you, yes, you could be coming from a place where at the core you're unhappy about something that's happening in your life. But you have this new beginning coming in for you that's not going to bring you any problems. Something that, you know, with the Page of Pentacles energy here, it's going to be something that you don't necessarily start and just jump into fully overnight. This is something that you're really going to talk about how you, to get it off the ground, how to get it going. And you're really just going to plan things out, okay? The last card that you guys have is the Two of Swords. It's about to thunder here, so I hope you guys like the sound of the rain. I love it. But we have the Two of Swords, so someone's between a rock and a hard place not knowing which decision to make. We have the two of cups in the verse. Do I stay or do I go? Sun card in the verse. So knowing that you're, um, you know, knowing that there's something in your life that could potentially block a lot of blessings for you, but still not being sure whether or not you want to let it go, okay? It's like someone is standing their ground with something, although there could be some sort of coldness attached to it. Kind of like, you know, um, if you're having a lot of problems in a relationship, this is just an example, but if you're having a lot of problems in a relationship, but you don't want to let it go, but then again, like people are being assholes and kind of being cold to each other and giving each other cold shoulder at the same time. So that's the kind of situation I'm picking up on. It doesn't necessarily have to be with love, but just something that is still in your life to some degree, but it's time to let it go, okay? And there's going to be things that are revealed here where you just have to take the path of least resistance and, you know, trust that you're going to heal and get over, you know, whatever this is. So going to the future, guys, the first card that you have is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So for some of you, yes, this could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but this is going to be somebody that they can be susceptible to really just adding fuel to a fire. This is someone who could take a situation and make it worse than what it needs to be. You have the tower card. And you have the emperor in the reverse. There's someone, again, guys, that's just not being honest. They're being fake. They're wearing a mask. And there's a sense of really having to protect yourself at an extreme. Um, and it could also be someone who really escalates a situation. So with the tower card, the tower card talks about something that drastically changes. But in this case... Um, you have to avoid something that just would not have been a good idea, okay? So there's going to be some sort of disappointment with whatever this is, okay? 
the next card you guys have is the Eight of Wands. So let's see why this is here. Ace of Wands. There's still a new beginning coming in for you guys. You just have to, you know, really roll with the punches here. And you have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So you have something that you're going to be very, very passionate about. It's just emotionally you're still feeling a loss for something that you're letting go of. But you have stability in your life. You're, you're at a place where you can build a very solid foundation for yourself, where you can build on what you already have. And you know that it's going to really grow in a strong way. So you guys are going to be very powerful, okay? King of Wands, whether you're female or male, this is just um, you at your strongest, okay? The last card that you guys have for the future is the Eight of Swords. So this is someone who, they feel like they're stuck, but they're not. It's all a mental thing. It's someone who doesn't want to see things for what it is, or um, they want to feel like there's some sort of, you know, that they're handicapped in some sort of way, but they're not. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Knight of Swords in the reverse. And you have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? There is going to be growth. The growth is going to be slow and steady, guys. But... It's literally saying it's reckless to stay in this. So it's going to be something that I feel mentally and emotionally, you're really going to have to work on letting it go. But you have to know that it's just, it's reckless to stay in, guys. All right? You're going to have to remove yourself from a toxic situation. There's something here that isn't going to be successful um, and that you guys are really going back and forth with. But again, you have this new beginning that wants to come in. You have this growth that's coming in where in the present moment you're talking about what you want to do and in the future, you know, you actually start doing it. For some of you, this could have to do with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I just feel like this is how you guys are growing. Um, you're growing at a realistic rate. You're dealing with what you have to deal with. You know, we don't heal from things overnight. So really focus on what it is that you're building and know that there's something toxic that just needs to, you know, just come out of your life at this point. And, you know, sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves and look in the mirror and say, maybe I am the toxic person or I am the person who's doing something wrong. So, you know, we don't want to just play victim either. We want to look at our choices and, you know, how have they affected people and did I have to go about things in that way? So I'm going to pull you guys three cards of advice here. Let's see what comes up. Give me three cards of advice for the sign of Leo, August, mid-month, 2019. What piece of advice can we leave Leo with? All right. Hanged man. Two of wands. Eight of wands in the verse. This is simple, this is easy, guys. All right. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yes, there might be something that pisses you the fuck off. There might be something that really just throws you off and, um, you know, it doesn't bring out the best in you. But you have to be honest with yourself because there's something that you have to cut off. There's something you need to remove yourself from. And it, it's easy to know what it is. When you take the route of the hanged man, this is not someone that jumps through hoops for another person or for anything else in life. If something doesn't feel natural to them, if something wants to leave their life or if something wants to like truly come into their life, they're going to go with the flow of it. All right. So this is a person when they see a door closing, they're realistic about it and they don't go chasing after it and looking, you know, uh, like, you know, just a fucking chicken with the, its head cut off. It's like they have no direction. They look crazy. You know, but with the two of wands here, with taking this path of least resistance and doing what you know is natural and not forcing anything, you come across a path that you're very, very passionate about. For some of you, this could mean that you're very passionate about something that shouldn't be in your life, okay? In order to be extremely happy and to build in a very positive way, you have to protect yourself in a fierce way, okay? Maybe someone has to protect themselves from you in a fierce way. It's, you know, it could be either or. We have the chariot. So something's going to happen that um, you guys really feel like you're in control of your life again. And you really take off in a whole nother direction in life. With the justice card, everything that happened wasn't for nothing. Okay, the justice card shows that whatever this was, it was something karmic. And karmic things are meant to teach us lessons. And, you know, if we're smart about it and we take that lesson in and we apply that lesson to our life, we can really excel and it really just enhances our quality of life. 
And we have the Three of Swords in the verse. So yeah, there's going to be a need to heal. And for some of you, especially with the Leo Pride, uh, maybe you're suppressing how much in pain you could be about something. But the worst that could have happened, guys, is behind you. It's time to grow. It's time to move forward. It's time to excel. And with you protecting yourself and being real, you come into a Ten of Pentacles sort of vibe where there's happiness, there's abundance, there's great things that come in. So you're, it's like you're right there when it comes to a huge breakthrough. You just have to be real about what you need to let go of. All right, so very straightforward message here, Leos. But guys, I love you so much. Again, check out uh, the community section. I'm gonna be posting it today if I remember when I'm done with work. But um, put uh, put on your subscription, uh, your notification rather, when you subscribe, and it'll let you guys know when I post that. If you wanna make sure you catch it. But um, if you guys do need a personal reading, you can purchase it on my website, highvibrationswithliz.com. All of this is in the inform uh, in this. In the description below i feel like i can't talk right now but yeah guys all of this is in the description below and again if you want to check out my instagram high vibrations 44 but leo i love you guys and you guys are fucking awesome and i'm just loving this energy that we're having so let's get through august big and strong okay take care guys